Aloha friends! Just trying to get comfortable because I'm pretty sure this is going to be a super long video with you guys. Because look, look at my baskets. These are just all the empties and then I have a few on the side that um, I'm still trying to get through of the, um, the clamshell. But I have not been in here in a while to show you guys what I have been enjoying as far as my Scentsy products because you guys know I am a five to seven year Scentsy customer but I'm going on my second year as a consultant. I took that big leap of faith kind of thing because you know it's owning your own business, you're an independent sales consultant and guess what guys, I should have become a consultant way before because I would have had the the ability to enjoy more products, more knowledge, and then plus create a little income on the side, like my little side hustle kind of thing. But um, I do enjoy being a Sensi consultant because I love the products. So let me show you guys what I have been enjoying. Look, I had to upgrade my basket. Usually, I have two little ones here, but usually this is the basket that I put them in, but I have not shared with you guys in a while, so just to let you guys know, this is the spring and summer catalog. It will end this month, and then we are going to come out with the fall and winter. The catalog is already out. Um, I already know, you know, stuff that's coming in. I did share on my Facebook, uh, I believe it was Facebook, that um, the fall harvest collection is also, um, already in as far as viewing, but it won't be available until September 1st. The Harvest Collection has like the Thanksgiving and the Halloween co um, collection for a limited time. So for now also in the month of August, while we're still enjoying this catalog, almost everything is 10% off and it's a great opportunity to take the time and be able to stock up on the um, items, not just the wax, um, other items that's going to be discontinued come September 1st. So take advantage of that 10% off uh, for this month. Okay. First of all, I finally got through my counter clean. This is Luna. Oh my gosh, friends. This was my first um, counter clean product. I used this primarily because I was stingy with it. <laughs> you guys know how I am with my Scentsy, um, Scentsy bars. I'm very stingy with them. I use one cube and that's it. That's plenty for me. If I have to use two, I'm like biting my nails kind of thing. But this worked so well into your counters to, ha to clean, but not only just to clean, to have that after smell of um, Luna and it comes in various scents as well but also I love it into my refrigerator because I do have the stainless steel refrigerator to where the kids their handprints are all over it by the end of the day it doesn't matter how often I clean but with this it's a nice swipe I just spray a little bit on a paper towel like again because I'm stingy a little bit on a paper towel and then I wipe around and then it just goes really nice and smooth and then it doesn't um, it takes away those uh, finger marks or whatever residue they leave behind so super glad and I'm gonna get more but I'm gonna wait until September 1st because um, new scents are coming out with the with the clean so looking forward to that and then Finally got done with the room spray. I think this is the first room spray that I'm finally out because I'm like spraying and nothing's coming out. Because out of all the um, the room sprays I have, Dazzling Pomegranate is my ultimate favorite. I love the other scents, but this is my go-to. I put it in my purse and this is my bathroom. <laughs> bathroom go-to set it is I told you guys into a video a couple of videos ago of how much I love this because it's a nice refreshing um, it's got that uh, sparkly sparkly wine scent to it and it's clean um, fruity but not overpowering so I really like this dazzling pomegranate out of that one I have an empty clamshell of my um, my Scentsy Go pod of vanilla buttercream and then I'm also this is about to to be thrown out but I don't know where I put the clamshell so I'm going I went through two of them um, this one is the blueberry cheesecake and this one is the vanilla bean buttercream they are for the Scentsy Go if you guys don't know what a Scentsy Go is it's basically the portable warmer you take it wherever you want to and I have been using it as a car scent I don't want to say the car bar because as much as I want to love the car bar I'm just always disappointed I'm always disappointed I have gotten um, two of my favorite scents which is blueberry cheesecake and vanilla bean buttercream into a car bar I love it the first day I love it the second day 
I love it within the week time frame. But after that, it's just, I don't know if my nose is just so accustomed to it or because we live in the Pacific Northwest where during the winter it's cold, so something in there that's not um, putting out the scent. But no matter what, it's already summer in the heat and I put a car bar in there, it's not lasting 30 days for me. So rather than, I, I always tell you guys with my Scentsy, I don't work against it. I don't work against it because for some people it works fine, for some other people it doesn't. So what I do is just, you know what, okay, I tried the car bar, but now, you know what, I'm sticking to my Scentsy Go because I know with Scentsy Go, you guys know this lasts forever for me. Um, it, with Scentsy Go, I'm able to turn it on and off, take it out of the car, put it, <laughs> put it along with me. I forgot where I took it. I had the kids with me. I forgot where I took it. I forgot, I just honestly forgot where I took it. But it had to be a moment to where, you know what, it's like a lot of, like, you know what, my, my son and my hubby, they like to go to those um, Comic Cons. And when it's a three day event and it's an inter uh, international Comic Con, like the San Diego Comic Con, people will be there. I don't want to just say guys, because I don't know. You know, I'm being gender neutral. People will go there, boys and girls, guys, females, males and not shower for three days. That's where you definitely need your sense to go. Friends, I've been there many times. <laughs> I'd be like, <sighs> just smelling it in, okay? So sense to go works for me. I went to two different um, oils for my diffuser. I love my diffuser. I use it as a night light. I use it as an ambiance to relax at night. Um, I don't I don't, I don't have one open up for the living room, but I'm planning to because there's a, a new diffuser shade that I'm eyeing on for September 1st, so I might have that one put downstairs. But I do have a couple of shades, I do have a couple of base, but there's one in my bedroom definitely that I use almost every night, and that is the Awaken diffuser um, shade, but I have been using the, um, the Cassis, is it Cases Rose Juniper. Uh, it's okay, relaxing, but I just wanted to use it up. I think I got it during that flash sale for like, I think what, um, I don't know, $10 I think for like a pack of three. But I have been loving the Hopscotch Butterscotch and finally went through another bottle. So this is I think my second bottle of that. I love it. It's a, it's a nice sweet bakery scent for me. Very sweet. Um, I've been enjoying it. And then I went through a light bulb. <laughs> I don't know, I'm showing you guys this, but I don't usually go through a light bulb. It takes me a while to go through a light bulb, but this one's all out. Um, I have it here, and the reason I'm showing it to you guys is because come, uh, come September 1st, there's going to be a new program, a new service uh, with Sensi, and it's going to be the Sensi Club. I will talk more about that as we go towards the end of the month or the first week of September so that I don't over-bombard you guys with um, information, but... Um, Sensi Club is something that I would like to join um, once it's available. Uh, it's a, it'll be available with the consultants along with the customers come September 1st. Okay, wash. Okay, friends, I've been wanting to make a video with you guys. I think I did and then I lost the footage, but this is empty and this is the ocean scent and friends, I am in love in love, in love, in love, in love with the uh, the Scentsy laundry line of the washer with. Now, um, I have bought um, a VIP program. Now, it's come September 1st, Scentsy Club is going to re uh, replace the VIP program for the oils and the, um, and the laundry line. And it's going to be a way be better program. So, I'm just going to share that with you guys. But, I ordered this for um, during the VIP laundry line, so it came with this. It came with the um, the pump, the liquid pump, and then it came with the dryer disc all as a bundle. And I tried. I think I still I still have some hop hideaway. I think it was honeymoon hideaway. This was my first, and this is what got me to love the washer with. But it is a bit pricey, but it lasts a long time. So I don't remember when I showed you guys this. I want to say maybe March, March, and we're in um, August, mid-August, and literally there's like maybe one scoop left, and believe me, I will use that. Friends, if you feel like this is too pricey for you, I forgot how much the cost is because I don't want to say the wrong thing, but um, you can, um, Wash & Whip is basically your fragrance enhancer. Um, let's think of it as downy or, um, 
I don't know what the other one's there because I usually use downy. I do have downy in the laundry room because I'm stingy with this. This is for my special clothes. Regular clothes gets the gets the downy, but these are like my special, like my blankets and my throws, my jackets that I'm not, you know, that I, I wear but I don't wash too often. The smell on your clothes, it, it stays there for a long time. I think um, I made a video one time where I said, Hubby and I did the laundry on a Saturday. Um, after folding it, we immediately put it into the, the drawers. I took out the shirt come that following Friday or Saturday. Literally when I put it on, I could still smell the scent. And I don't get that with my regular store fabric um, softeners or my detergents. God honest truth, okay? So if I don't went through that, so sad, but look at all my empty clamshell. And you guys know I can talk really fast. <laughs> if I need to, I can talk really fast. Okay. First empty is going to be the caramel sugar cone. Oh my God. In love. In love with the scent. In love, in love, in love. And I have been trying to um, stockpile my personal stash because you guys know I do have a lot of Scentsy bars. I do have a lot of bricks. They're all mine. <laughs> I don't sell them. I don't go to vendors and sell them. I don't go to home parties and you know and sell them. The I'm gonna be flat out honest. The only ones that truly really buy from my personal stash is my in-laws because you can't say no to your in-laws. You just can't. Okay. So they're the only ones that gets access to my personal stash. But and that's okay. But other than that, I don't sell it. So I do. Now, you know, now come August, it's 10% off, and you know that this is going out come September 1st. Now's the perfect time to stockpile your, <laughs> your obsession with the Scentsy Wax, like me. Okay, caramel sugar cone. Again, oh my gosh. It's just sweet. If you like sweet scent, it is absolutely delicious. Caramel sugar cone. I am so surprised. I am so heartbroken. It did not make it to the fall and winter because honestly I feel like it could honestly go into the fall bakery scent but it did not. But no matter what I have plenty and I do know that I want to get some more and then again that's where I'm going to start talking to you about the new Scentsy Club. Okay aloe water and cucumber. This is another one of my favorite um, scent. Um, new re this is a new release, a spring and summer. New release and uh, it's not coming back and it's amazing. It smells good. Although it is coming back in a different product, not into the... I don't want to say... What, is it coming back? Oh my gosh, I could be totally wrong, friends. Um, I think it's coming back. Oh, okay, friends. Correction, I looked at the new catalog. It is coming back. So, aloe, water, and cucumber. I love this as a spring and summer. And it is coming back for the fall and winter just to give you guys a heads up on that. Blueberry cheesecake. You guys know how much I love my blueberry cheesecake. Ooh. Blueberry cheesecake. It's in the same category as my caramel sugar cone and my vanilla bean butter cream. Three. I love my sweet scents. But you guys know how much I love blueberry cheesecake. It's one of those things that you may not like, but then it grows on you. Okay. Um, watermelon mint. This was my last stash from four years ago. I believe it was four or five years ago when I last purchased um, watermelon mint. And look, it doesn't even have the bring back my bar. So it was still part of the catalog. But um, it was on the bring back my bar um, July. So I ordered a whole bunch of those to last me a while because I don't know when it's coming back. I love it. It's a very watermelon. Watermelon, is that even a word? It's a very watermelon scent with a fresh, fresh mint kind of thing. Perfect name. Since he always gets their name right, okay? So I have plum and white wood. This was okay. This was a, I forgot, maybe, maybe February, March, April time frame around there of a scent of the month. Um, I went through it because when I, as a consultant, we can get the warmers or the scent of the month early and then they give us like nine bars. I went through it because I have plenty to to melt and I wasn't very stingy with it. It smells good. I liked it, but the thing was it wasn't um it wasn't a lasting performer. It would really last me, you know, the day and then I don't it 
it didn't do a, a nice throw it, you know I could smell it really nice in a small area that's why with these kind of light scents I always tell you guys instead of going against it and putting like four cubes because sometimes you know the warmers requires three or four cubes and that's what Sensi re recommends and that's what I promote but on my own personal self I can't do that <laughs> I can't do that I'm too stingy so I instead of working against it I work with it and put it into my bathroom my um, small hallway into the kids room this works really well into the girls room because when it's small space they just turn it on when they're there at night kind of thing so that's that it was so so for me it wasn't really didn't really give me that much of a satisfaction watermelon wave was I believe June I think it was June scent of the month maybe but I <laughs> I bought this because the word watermelon. I love watermelon scent. It's not the same watermelon as um, watermelon mint. Again, this was a scent of the month. And we have, anytime there's a scent of the month, we have it for up to six months unless we have sold out. It, it's not part of the catalog, but it is in the, um, in the website. I believe it's still available. But um, it's just, it's, it's a nice refreshing spring scent the watermelon is just it's it's you can't you can barely smell it it's more of a I don't know not even fruity well a little fruity a little watermelony kind of thing but very mild so that, I mean I liked it though I really did okay bring back my bar this one is cranberry mango and I went through that hmm but I want to say oh yeah I went through well almost two of them so I have one left of that, of the cranberry mango. Now the cranberry mango was Bring Back My Bar and I think I bought it, I think four years ago. <laughs> and this reminds me of my, um, my love for sweet plum pastry. I think it's, it's almost similar to, to, to its quality. They both have that little bit of a burnt smell to it. So this one has a little like less burnt smell which is you, like like you, you don't really want to like it but you do so I liked it because I bought a whole bunch of it and even my consultant friend one of the girls in my friend like do you have any extra so I ended up giving her um, one of my extra ones for her birthday and I'm like I don't know why I like this but because there's part of me that thinks that it's a little bit burnt so with that being said sweet plum, uh, sweet plum pastry no sweet plum, sweet plum pastry I can't even say it like sweet plum pastry it's just like your blueberry cheesecake like you smell it and you don't want to like it because there's something I think it when I smell it I feel like it's too sweet it's it's very powerfully sweet but then there's that back note of a burnt smell I don't know what I'm like did did they burn this particular batch kind of thing but that's that's what it is with all the ones because I ended up ordering I think four of them during the bring back my bar I have been enjoying this during the summer into my room. Um, it's just a refreshing girl, feminine kind of smell. It has, it's, it's actually kind of, it's a bit strong. Not too strong, but it's a very good performer. And you, just like blueberry cheesecake, it's like, I don't want to like you. You have a burnt smell. It's kind of a weird smell, but it grows on you. And it grew on me throughout the summer. I have loved this. I'm so glad I ordered at least I think three or four. So I'm good for a while. I don't want to overdo it with my sweet plum pastry. I'm good. I have enough. Lemon Vervana. I believe this is coming back. This is a spring, usually just a spring and summer, but I think they're adding it to um, maybe the classics category. But I know that it's coming back um, onto the fall and winter um, catalog. And it's nice because you know you, you're gonna have all that fall scents and all the winter scents it's nice to have a few scents to go to when you just want to get rid of that that scent because that's how it works for me sometimes it's like you know it's too springy or it's too wintry and I want to just get away from that and just have a restart <laughs> and that's what I feel this is it's a nice restart it's a very strong lemon scent and that's all it is just like lemon it's very it's not okay it's not pie lemon it's it's more like to me like a lime lemon um, but it's good I like this I, I especially like this into the um, the bathroom because it gives that clean refreshing scent 
All right, spring forward is another. Do I have another one? Another. Oh, yep. Oh, no. Spring forward is another um, scent of the month. I'm just trying to use up my scent of the month because when I do get it, I make local samples um, for my local customers. And then whoever wants um, some samples, when they ask me, I do send them out. But very light. It's nice. It's refreshing. But again, it's a light, um, it's a light scent. So got through that. Oh, my gosh. This is the other one that I'm just so surprised. There's not a lot of people that that say that this is their favorite. This is my really, really favorite too of the spring and summer. And I, I feel like I have maybe five of this and I wanna have more because Rainforest Bungalow, I feel that through, within the, the catalog of whatever it may be of the spring or the summer, all right, let's just say spring. I feel like, like this needs to go into, we need to keep this year round and put it into like the classics because this smells like nothing that we have it just smells like a rainforest and i feel like for me i feel like we don't have anything into our catalog that has this kind of neutral rainforest scent we have like the tropical um scent like the tropical rainforest with kahiku hula kamu 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 is not coming back which really scares me because it's always been there that's one of my favorites but um, we have like other, other like outdoorsy scents of a beachy or tropical or what have you. But this is a rainforest, not woodsy, but just the rainforest scent. If rainforest had a scent, it would be this, rainforest bungalow. And I wish that it would stay into the catalog, but it, it's not, it's going away. So I need to get my hands more I need to get more of this. I love it. It's just, it's, it's, it's good. It's a good neutral scent for male and female. It just has no scent. It just smells like the rainforest. Okay. Accidentally in love. Accidentally in love and let's get punchy. These are two of my favorite, um, two of my favorite new release scents for the spring and summer. I think they go hand in hand. I'm not a mixer kind of person. Um, I don't like to mix my scents, although mixing it I think would be really nice when you have the cord warmer. If you guys are not familiar with the cord warmer, I showed it to you guys during my last flash sale. It's one warmer unit that has three different um, dishes and then you can turn it on and off individually. So you can have all three um, going on at the same time or just one or just two. And if I'm going to mix, um, I would mix it into one of this and one dish, two kind of thing. That's how I would mix it. I'm not the mixer type of putting it into the dish together. Okay, but Accidentally in Love is a really nice fruity scent. It's rich, it's fruity, it's, it works really well um, into the spring and summer um, season. And then it's also a good throw and then a good performer. As well as Let's Get Punchy. Let's Get Punchy smells like um, Hawaiian punch. Strong performer, good, um, good throw. Okay, wild berry and sweet melon. Um, this was part of the spring and summer last year, and I don't, I don't think we have it anymore. But I do like this. Again, it's in that same category as the sweet plum pastry and the cranberry mango. There's something in there that has that little burnt smell to it, or a little strong, like maybe musky. Um, but I like it. It's 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 a good performer. It's strong. One cube lasts me a couple days, so I really like this one. Um, I know I have a couple more of this, but after that, I'm gonna be sad that I I won't have it. Sweet cream and spice. Now this is coming back in the fall and winter. This was my stash last fall and winter, and I love this. It's just a sweet, very very sweet scent. Very sweet. I love this. This was uh, one of my favorites from uh, the last catalog. So I went through another bar of that. Gingerbread donut is also coming back. Is it coming back? Yes, it is. It's coming back. And that is a fall winter scent. You guys, I'm tired of summer. <laughs> I've been melting. I've been melting the um, the fall scents. Um, started, what, I think last week. So I finally went through. There was like a couple cubes left from last fall and winter and then I went through that gingerbread donut and sweet cream and spice they're coming back this um, coming fall and winter catalog and they were two like two of my favorites from last catalog so 
I'm getting ready for fall. Apricot vanilla. It's empty. Now, I love this, but I only, I didn't like it when I melted it here into my studio for the first time. I felt like it got lost, so it doesn't have a good um, throw. It doesn't have a good performance, per se, but it's really nice into your bathroom, if you have a small office, um, into your bedroom, because I, on um, Hubby and I, on each side of the bed, we have our own desks um, with our own light kind of thing because we love to work onto our, our laptop when we go into our room. It's part of our relaxation time. And he has a Sensi warmer on his side of the bed. I have one on my side of the bed. And I could really smell this from my pillow to my side of my bed or where I'm working on my desk. It worked really well for me, but that's, again, because I was very close to the warmer so the the smell the scent was really able to um i was able to really get it in but i really liked it apricot vanilla again i'm debating of ordering some more johnny appleseed was um scent of the month i forgot what month but um it smells really good it's a strong apple scent it's a strong apple it's 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 a nice apple scent so i think this you know if you this could work for fall, you know, if you um, if you guys want to take advantage of the 10% off, get some of that. And I think you could really melt it for um, preparation for um, fall or during the fall months. Okay, Blue Hyacinth, again, I like this, but I did not order anymore because I have so much others that I'm focusing on. So this, this is actually a really nice scent. It's very girly. It reminds me of like Luna because Luna is either you like it or you hate it. So blue hyacinth to me is either you like it or you, you hate it because it is a strong floral scent, but not powdery, just a strong floral scent. Very feminine, very girly. And I don't know, maybe I want to order one more. I have none. This is it. I have none. So when I have no backup, I kind of get into the panic mode. Okay, lemon sorbet. Ooh, I've always loved lemon sorbet. It's one of my go-to. I think it's coming back. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know why I'm thinking. No, no, no. It's not coming back. It was the lemon vervana that's coming back. Um, it just reminds me of lemon sorbet. It has a light lemon, like a not even like a sorbet. I don't like sometimes when I when I smell like sorbets, it, it makes me smell like purees, like a uh, a fruit puree. But that's not what it smells like with this one. It's it's more like Maybe an apple pie, meringue, apple meringue pie, maybe, hmm, but light, light lemon. Toffee butter crunch. This is, I like this for the fall and winter. Again, it's very sweet. It's a very sweet, sweet um, caramel scent. It's, um, we have the, we have the caramel, I think maybe that's why they didn't bring back caramel sugar cone into the fall is because we have the, um, the toffee butter crunch already in there so they're, they're kind of a bit similar um, they both they both have caramel in there and we know toffee is made out of what sugar is it is toffee burnt caramel I don't know but they're kind of be like you know in the, the same category so maybe that's why they didn't bring that back but you like sweet scents you like um, like a little burnt butter smell toffee Toffee butter crunch is the go-to. Okay, almost there, friends. Grapefruit sunshine, another scent of the month. I think this was light. I liked it. I liked it, but it was so light I could barely smell it. Even in my bedroom, where I tell you guys like the apricot vanilla really works well, this one didn't even work well. I could bear. I couldn't even smell it. Like I couldn't smell it. But I went through it. Maybe because I'm like maybe I put two. I think this one was one of the ones that I did put two. I don't like it when I have to use two. Okay, I liked it, it was okay, it's just very light. Not strong performer, um, not a strong throw. Blackberry, black raspberry vanilla is a classic. And it's good performer. Um, if you like the, the black raspberry scent, this is a, a nice scent, I just went through that. I went through Ambrosia, which is a bring back my bar, I believe it was January. This one reminds me of a fruit salad. Yes, fruit salad. <laughs> so I went through that. Oh my gosh, friends, if you could just see all these empties. Empty, um, empty clamshells. Okay, so 
those are all my empties but I have been also melting um, this one is the Paradise Oil 3 pack I've been using all three of them I love all three of them um, it comes in like this just a word of advice we are we do have we usually have it for the summer and then we usually have it for the the fall of a three pack scent and they're always the ones that get sold out first just even with this one this is the first one that got sold out of our summer collection and I believe me come the fall harvest collection last year the three pack oil was the one also that got sold out first but I like this it's a really nice um, fruity scent really springy so I love I enjoyed um, what do you call it when you're using oil you're not melting you're not burning I don't know the term if you guys know the term tell me because I don't even know the term okay like I said I have been enjoying I have been enjoying my fall scents. I am ready for fall. It is mid-August. I feel like I feel so bad for August. I feel like August is not getting the love that it deserves, you know, because for some, we have been experiencing summer heat since like May or April, especially when I used to live in California. And by, by August, we're like, we're tired of the heat. We want the fall. We're tired of the summer. We want the fall. We want the new fall theme, the new look. And that's what I feel about August. So I'm ready for fall. I have been enjoying Saint um, Nicker Doodle. This was our um, our Christmas special um, bundle scent that was available last year. And um, oh, friend, I love it. I wish I got more, <laughs> but I love this. This I forgot what the um, the scent is, but it's so cute. Look at the packaging. Can you guys see that? See, so cute. I love the scent. It's perfect for fall. Um, you can smell that um, nutmeg or cinnamon or it just smells like snickerdoodle cookie. Yeah, I'm telling you, Sensi always gets it right with their the name for their scent. Always. Okay, so these are the other ones that I have been also melting, but I have not gone through. Okay, Rainbows and Butterflies was our scent of the month that came with the Unicorn Warmer Stella and Friends. Stella is sold out. So we all knew that that unicorn warmer was going to be very popular. So I grabbed one. I know I have a couple, at least two customers in here that are really bummed. You guys messaged me and emailed me asking, Diane, I can't find Stella. I'm sorry. You know, when we have the, the warmer of the month, because it's not part of our regular catalog, it is in while supplies last. It's guaranteed to be in on the first month. After that, if we have to do, um, during that, if we have to do back orders, we will do back orders and then um, you will receive it at a later time. That's what happened with the Stargaze. Remember I told you guys, Stargaze was our warmer of the month, January of last year. And I did not get my shipment in until I think it was May or June. And I had ordered that thing, um, I think February. And that was sold out, I think within one day. So... Friends, sometimes it happens. So that's what happened with Stella. It's no longer available. It's no longer on the website. I can't even order it on my workstation, which is our, our Sensi in-house um, ordering system. I can't even do that, but I'm so sorry if you missed out on it. I'm so sorry. I don't have an extra one to sell you. I use one. Actually, the one I have is right here in my studio, and it was supposed to be for my girl. See? Okay, I should have gotten one more. But it did come with rainbows and butterflies, and friends, hmm. I didn't care for it. I'm trying to love it because I have like eight more bars. But I don't like it. <laughs> I told I told one of my Sensi girls, I'm sorry, Sensi, but I'm honest. I'm you you guys know I'm real. <laughs> I said, she goes, what does it smell like? I go, well, I like Stella the warmer. I really love her. She's awfully cute. But rainbows and butterflies smells like rainbows and butterfly puke. I'm sorry. I'm just being honest. It just didn't get me. That's okay because if it got you, okay, good for you. It just didn't get me. It's okay. It's okay, but there's something in there that I'm like, ugh, what is that? Okay, so anyway, sorry. Okay, sheer leather. Oh, I have one left. Sheer leather is actually a really nice masculine, masculine scent. It's masculine. You know what? I want to... I want to get more of this for hubby. Um, I've been melting it for Jonathan. He's my 18 year old. He just turned 18. Oh my gosh. I have an 18 year old. I have four kids. Friends, I have four kids. 
This is why sometimes you know you don't see me here. <laughs> and I have to do my sensi side hustle because I got four kids. Okay. But um I've been melting this for hubby in his office and then Jonathan in his bedroom. It's a nice, really nice masculine scent. And if I'm going to order any more and take advantage of the 10%, I'm definitely going to grab one or two of this. Of, of the, I was going to say these and then I'm like, this? <laughs> I pitch, sorry. Alpine Meadow was our scent of the month for August. It came with that, um, that blue camping mug. So that's hubby's. I like it and it's okay it's it has that nice like a minty it's like a morning dew with a hint of mint that's how I want to describe this it's not like I hate it it's not like I love it it's something that's neutral for me like oh it's not bad it's actually not bad but again it's one of those scents that if I were I put one in here yesterday I had company over here I had to put two cubes so in order for it to really work into this size of the room okay Kahiku Hula Kahiku Hula is not coming back during the fall, but then again, it is one of our spring and summer um, usuals, regulars, okay? I love this. Kahiku Hula, Havana Kavana, and Kamu Kamu, and Sensi is getting rid of Kamu Kamu. Sensi, you just broke a piece of my heart. Not really happy with you, but oh my gosh, Kahiku Hula is a nice tropical scent. It's one of my go-to tropical scents. I love this, and um, I was melting this um, during the summer. All you need is love. Okay. I'm trying to like all you need is love. I mean, I like it. It's not that I, I don't like it. But I think it's because it has that hint of coconut in there. So it's supposed to be sweet with the coconut, coconut touch. It's supposed to be sugary smell and then a hint of coconut in there. And I think that just didn't work too much for me when I have all these other good scents to um to really fully enjoy. It's not a bad scent. I mean, I liked it, but because I have other other good favorites, the one that I've shown you, this was always into the back kind of thing. <gasps> mm. Okay, I don't have any empties of this one, which is surprising. Where are all my empties? I think because I'm hoarding it, <laughs> even though I have like 20 of them. <laughs> because Coastal Strawberry... Oh my gosh, Coastal Strawberry is my favorite strawberry scent. This is a missed opportunity for me last summer because um, it first came out last summer and I had ordered just one and I did not melt it until come September when it was no longer to, um, available to order and I so regretted it all year. This time, every order I placed, you know, I showed you guys, every order I placed, I had at least one Coastal Strawberry in there because I do not want to live without Coastal Strawberry. It's a nice, clean, refreshing scent. It works really good into the girl's bedroom. It makes the room smell clean. I just go in there, I close my eyes, and then you know what, I'm like, ooh, hi girls, and then I pretend like their room is clean because I am not responsible for cleaning my girls' room. Uh-uh, nope. <laughs> I may baby them in other scents, like driving them around, I miss Daisy, but I feel like they're their personal being, their personal hygiene, their bedroom, their closets. I did help them with their closets this year though. But Coastal Strawberry, oh my gosh friends, order it. It's so good. It's not a puree. It's not, um, it's not fake. It's not phony. It smells like you're a little girl into a field of strawberries and you're just there eating, picking them up and putting them in your mouth and no care in the world. I love it. Okay. Watermelon Wave. Oh yeah, I told you guys about Watermelon Wave. So this was another um, scent. It's okay for me, low on watermelon, and you guys know how much I love my watermelon. Okay, this is probably a two hour video, but those are all the things that I have been enjoying. Um, come September 1st, you guys are not gonna be getting these things, um, like the Rainforest Bungalow. I wanna get more of this. I feel like I have some stockpiled into my Scentsy um, container that I hide. <laughs> when we have company so that they don't see it but I feel like I need to get more okay so those are all the stuff that I have been melting thank you guys for watching a simply simple life as always mahalo